an all online digital classroom, and that means no books and no pencils. So sit back, relax, and enjoy my class. Welcome to Cyber Safety 101. Being cyber safe or having cyber safety means having responsibility. I guess now that I told you that, you don't want to listen to the rest of this class, don't you? Well, I can actually tell you being cyber safe can actually be fun. And I'm going to run you through the do's and the don'ts of using the internet. You digital natives seem to think that you know everything of what it is about using a phone, a tablet, a laptop, and a computer. But do you really know everything? Let me show you what most of you do at a party. Or what most of you do to actually invite everyone to your party. Alright, so let's create a bit. And the name is Party at my house. Your location is 26 Evergreen Terrace. Yeah, it's very convenient, isn't it? Well, I'm going to show you exactly how we all do this. This is how we all do it, right? Yeah? Hi, I'm in description. Figure out everything. Bring heaps of friends. First, oops. Mommy and mom, bring your friends, bring your friends. Bring your friends, it's gonna be a killing night. Yeah. For one, you gave out your personal information. You made this page public. So, hey everyone, party at my house, this is my address, this is my number, bring whatever you want. My parents are going away for the weekend, so it's fine, they never going to find out. Almost like a good chat, yeah? We like texting away on our phones, we like going in chat rooms. But I want to show you how chatting away and texting to people we don't know can be very dangerous and also very creepy. Yeah, let's take a look, hey, should we? I'm from the chat room. I'm here for the party. Gosh, why can't people just listen when it's a private only invite? Seriously, people, come on. Stranger danger. No, that's not a good thing. Yes, this is an extreme case, but it could happen. It could quite possibly happen. Uh, the other side of that is that people can just simply get your information and get into your personal items that you really don't want them to see. Have to be inappropriate. These can be photos of you, and your friends, your dog, your cat, even your pet rock. I'm just gonna keep my privacy settings on safe, no nudity, no swearing, no nothing, just simple conversation. Please be responsible with your friends. Be nice, play nice, chat nice, go online and be nice. Be nice is the do of the internet. For this, I invite to the party of the century. <laughs> I highly doubt it. I didn't think you had any friends. Oh, well, there's two people going. Oh my god. Let's say something about this. Then let's just post that. Please, please, keep the nastiness away. Because that is a don't. We need to be nice to everyone. We need to chat nice. We need to look up nice content and be nice in the comment sections. We also need to be nice on our social media. There's no point of having friends on Facebook if they're not really your friends. Now let's recap. So the top five do's of the internet are one, keep personal stuff to yourself. Two, keep your privacy settings on high and do not give out your personal information. Three, stranger danger. Don't talk to people you don't know. Four, four, please be safe and do not bully other people because that is not nice. And five, be responsible, have responsibility and just overall have fun in a safe, environmental, be friendly way. So, if you can please, number one, share this on Facebook with your friends. Number two, Instagram, maybe a screenshot from this video and tell your friends why it's important to be safe. And maybe three, tweet this on Twitter to your homies and tell them that Cyber Safety 101 is the class for them to take. Because, you know, there's nothing better than being nice, safe, and responsible online because that is the number one rule that we all need to follow. Yeah. So, remember. Be safe on all platforms you come across and share, educate someone else on this lovely video.